Catcher, uh, what it's going to do is going to find these untapped keywords or niches that other people probably don't even know exist because what it does is it go out to search engines and it uses the uh, like the Google suggest keywords and the Bing and, and uh, Yahoo and Amazon and you find these keywords that people are typing in that these search engines suggested them and it collects them and it uh, displays them for you so let me scroll down and keyword snatcher you can use this on this about almost any device so you can use it on Windows Mac Linux a tablet on your phone any device that you want to use it on this is a great uh, for if you're doing keyword research that you can be able to use it on any type of device uh, So the price of it is just forty seven dollars for one time and that's going to get you access to uh, Keyword snatcher where you can start finding these untapped niches that other people are not really or competition is not really even knowing that exists right now So I want to show you a little bit of this testimony of what's going on here Now this is from uh, Jamie right here and he said by using the uh, keyword snatcher, he said my P PC ad campaigns are better than ever and generate tons of new keywords that have increased my ROI by a massive 25%. So he's making uh, more money by finding these unidentified keywords that people are not really targeting and, and capitalizing on it, really. So this is a tool that you definitely want to take a look at, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to log in right now. To sh okay, so this is how the the login, this at the back of it, it looks, right? And what it does is you got your sources here. You got Google, you got Yahoo, Bing, Amazon, eBay, and YouTube. And let me show you an example of what I'm talking about when it is taking these suggested keywords. So let's go and say if I go over here to Google and let's see if I talk, type in internet marketing. So what this tool is going to do exactly, it's going to use the uh, alphabet. So we'll go through all of the alphabet letters and it's going to extract these keywords right here and put them inside of a uh, keyword snatcher, right? So if I type in A, it's going to take all of these keywords here and gather them. And if I type in B, it's going to take all these keywords here. If I type in C, it's going to take all of these keywords right here that Google is suggesting that people will actually search for these keywords because Google's actually suggesting them to you. So you know that uh, people are actually searching for these keywords. And this is what this tool is going to do for you. It's going to grab all of these keywords and put them in there for you so you can research them, find out which ones uh, have a uh, good search volume on them that you can use to write content um, ranking in the search engines or if you want to use them in your PPC campaigns or whatever you want to do with them so I'm gonna go back over to the uh, keyword uh, snatcher and we're gonna do a search here now before I do the search here I'm gonna let you go over a few things here uh, you have the suggestions right here so you can click on this and what this does is just going to give you certain options here you can use and the asterisk here uh, that's sort of like a wild card search that you can use but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later and you got the uh, show options here so what you can do in the uh, filters keywords is what it does is it skips keywords containing any of these terms so if you put a a keyword in there and you don't want that keyword to come up then that's where you would type this in here and you can add more than one keyword inside of this filter now let's just do a search here let's go in here and let's check it out now I'm gonna do uh, internet marketing so let's put internet marketing and we're gonna run a search here and we're gonna to try to find some keywords uh, that I probably wouldn't even think about. So, so to run this search, it's gonna go over here to get suggestions. You click that, and you can see it's quite fast here too. Also, it's already up to almost 200 keywords already 
and you can see what I was talking about earlier is that using internet marketing is using the alphabets it's going to go through all of them and, and retrieve those keywords and put them inside of here for you now it, it's going extremely fast to me almost uh, up to like 700 keywords all ready just in a few seconds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it once it gets to probably uh, let's do about a thousand keywords right and that's only going to take a few seconds how fast this thing is going through all these keywords here and then I'm going to stop it so I'm going to give you like a few more seconds here and I'm going to show you some more things other things here so I'm going to stop it okay now we're over a thousand keywords in just a few seconds so now once you have your keywords you do have to a couple of filters here that you can use here now this one if you click on this filter here on the word count here if you click on you have the uh, greater than so if you got uh, if you want to keep all the key keywords that are greater than one two or three or four you can do that or you can go to uh, here if you want to get keywords that are less than uh, seven keywords or less than six keywords now the reason why I think you would probably use this type of filter is because that you don't want keywords that are too long tailed keywords because the long too long tail of a keyword might not have that much search volume in it right because the search volume gets decreases basically when you're um, the longer your keywords are and in the majority of situations there are some instances where the search volume could be uh, more some long tail keywords but for majority of the keywords uh, for long tail uh, they're going to be uh, not that much uh, search volume on it and uh, it'd be fairly good search volume but not not as much as a broad key uh, keyword like internet marketing so that's where you would use this right here so let's just test this out for a moment here now let me find one a long one like this one here okay we got internet marketing integration online offline strategies right now this is a pretty long keyword so let's say if I didn't want too long of a keyword because I know it wasn't going to give me that much uh, uh, search volume or traffic right if I create some content off of this so I would go in here and I would do like less than five keywords right so when I click this this is going to disappear because this is going to be more than five keywords right so I'm going to click this here and you see it's gone and if let's say if change your mind you would be like well you know what I might want to keep those keywords so all you have to do is just come back over here and click here and then that keyword reappears again now this is the other section right here contains that keywords that is contains right here you can come in this section and you can just type in certain keywords and it will uh, get rid of those type of keywords like uh, for instance if you're trying to do transactional looking for transactional keywords you can do a uh, a search you want to get away like free those type of keywords you don't want any of those keywords because these might be uh, people looking for free things so you want to get rid of those type of keywords right you can now let's just say that if you wanted to download now that you got your keyword list uh, you've got out the keywords that you don't want and you want to now download those keywords right because these are like the keywords that you want to go after so what you can do is you got a format here you can got text and you got the uh, CVS so I'm just gonna do a text and we're just gonna hit download these suggestions and it's gonna take just a few seconds here and now I got all of my keywords that I want to do some research on and uh, I'm gonna put them in maybe my keyword another keyword tool to find the search results of them so you just click save as and that's it I'm gonna go to my blog here I'm just gonna save those keywords and let me open up that folder to, to let y'all see them and then here goes my keywords now now I have my keywords that I want to go after right now and so that's how that works now there is another one but I'm going to clear out these results here I'm going to show you the wild card what I said I'm going to jump back to it to the wild card and basically what the uh, uh, or does is it's a advanced search technique that can be used for maximum search results so basically 
uh, if you wanted to find these uh, undiscovered keywords, it uses characters. It uses the uh, the aspirant symbol, and it replaces it with characters inside of there that uh, it can discover other keywords that you probably might not have thought about, right? And basically, that's it. Now, for the last thing is that I want to also show you guys when you get a uh, keyword list. The next thing you're going to run into is you want to know um, basically how much search volume do these keywords have, right? Because you don't want to go after a keyword and only got like 20 search uh, results or something like that, right? What I'm going to do is if, make sure that you uh, check in the description and check for my link. And when you purchase this through my link, I'm going to also show you where you can get the search volume for these keywords so that when you go after these keywords you're going to know how much traffic you're going to be uh, potentially getting because now I mean you, you, you have the keywords now you have these keywords that people have probably have not even thought of even typing in uh, your competitors but you need to know the search volume of these keywords and then that's what my bonus is going to be for you. I'm going to show you where you can get the search results, uh, the search volume for these keywords. And that's it, guys. So I hope you guys come and check this out. It's called Keyword Snatcher. And that's how Keyword Snatcher works, guys. And I'm going to see you in the next one.